to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Monday, November 15th is Recycling Day. Oh my goodness. I know we all recycle, we repurpose, and we reuse things, which is so wonderful. In America, we use or waste 64 tons of material that we send to landfills. That means on average 246 million tons, 246 million tons of waste goes to landfill. We want to celebrate November 15th as Recycling Day. I know that we all know how to recycle. We take our plastic bottles, we put it in one container. We take our cardboard and put it in another container, our paper, and we put it outside so that when they come and pick up, it's not in the trash and going to landfills. It is going to be recycled. We in America and across the world recycle materials all the time. When we go to the grocery store, we may use a shopping bag that we take all the time, each time. We may use plastic that we recycle to make things in our home. Did you know that for some homeless people, they take plastic bags companies and make mattresses out of them? That is a way to repurpose. Instead of putting all that plastic back into the landfill, it is being reused. Well, today we are going to repurpose some materials to do a STEM activity. As I've been doing videos, I have repurposed materials to make projects easy to complete by just using materials from your home. For instance, I did the video on the balloon car. I used a plastic bottle, a water bottle, and repurposed it to make a balloon car. And I repurposed bottle caps for the wheels even. I have also repurposed materials to make a marble maze. I repurposed materials to make the robotic hand. So many of my videos for STEM activities use materials that we have already used, especially cardboard. If you are trying to come up with materials to do STEM activities, begin to save those materials like cardboard, like straws, and repurpose those to come up with a fun activity where you can use the design and engineering process to create something new. We're going to repurpose toilet tissue rolls today and we're going to make a launcher. This is a launcher that uses simple materials. Some tape, two toilet tissue rolls, a pencil we're going to repurpose, and a couple of rubber bands. And we're going to make a cotton ball launcher by taking and putting it together, pulling and launching the cotton ball. All right, so we're going to get started. For this, you will need two toilet tissue rolls, some cotton balls, scissors, hole puncher, tape, various rubber bands, and a pencil. When I made this launcher, I used this rubber band, this type. But I have two other types of rubber band. This one is thicker, and when you pull on it, you can see how it stretches and pulls back. And this one's sort of in between. And so, if we look at all three, we're thinking which one would make the best launcher? And that is something you can test out also. But for the second one, I'm going to use this rubber band, the one in between, the larger one, and the thin one. Take your first tissue roll and cut it down the middle. Then you want to roll it tight so that it's small enough to go inside the second one. We're going to take some masking tape. You can use whatever tape you have because we don't want to go out and purchase anything new. If you have masking tape, that's fine. If you have scotch tape, if you have duct tape even, that'll work. We're going to put it on 
I'm going to use three pieces. Now, take your scissor, I mean, take your hole puncher, and you're going to punch a hole on each side. Take your pencil and thread through the holes. So make sure you put the holes down far enough so that you can wiggle the pencil in. Take your first tissue roll and cut it down the middle. Then you want to roll it tight so that it's small enough to go inside the second one. We're going to take some masking tape. You can use whatever tape you have because we don't want to go out and purchase anything new. If you have masking tape, that's fine. If you have scotch tape, if you have duct tape even, that'll work. We're going to put it on I'm going to use three pieces. Now, take your scissor, I mean, take your hole puncher, and you're going to punch a hole on each side. Take your pencil and thread through the holes. So make sure you put the holes down far enough so that you can wiggle the pencil in. Now we're going to take the second toilet tissue roll and you're going to cut slits, two slits on each side. We want to make them even on each side, okay? So you just have little flaps on each side. Now we're going to take our rubber band. We're going to loop where the slit is. Okay. We'll take our second one on this side. And loop. So you should have a rubber band on each side. Take some tape and tape it over the slits. Fold it over and tape it over the slits on both sides. Now we have our rubber bands in place. Now we're going to take the first part, put it on the inside, take your rubber band and put around the pencil on each side. And now you have your cotton ball launcher. Now that we have our launchers made, we have two different types because of the rubber bands are different. We're going to test each one and compare the two. This is the first one I made with the thin rubber bands. This one shot across the room. Let's look at this one. Now, I will tell you, this pulls out farther compared to this one. Do you think this one is going to launch far? With the tightness, we're going to see. Went pretty good. The first one, I stood up to look, the first one went the fathers. And the first one is easier to use. Look how simple 
Making a cotton ball launch is using recycled materials. You can come up with your own design and come up with the cotton ball launcher to see which one could be launched farther. You can make different changes on your launcher. For instance, instead of having little shortcuts, how about making your slits longer? Will that make a difference? Instead of using a pencil, maybe use some other gadget here. Also, what about where you place the holes on the second part of the launcher? There's so many different things you can do to compare launchers and test them out. Remember, we are celebrating Recycling Day. What materials do you have already that you can use to create a product that could be used or some product that you could play with? Because with this one, this is fun to play with. And you can change this so many ways, guys, to improve the design that I made. Remember, whenever I'm doing these videos, I always make a prototype. And a prototype is just the first one you test and you make changes. You can make any change you want and make the design the way that you would like it. Remember to recycle reuse and repurpose materials that you already have in your home and not send tons of waste to our landfills so that America can stay clean. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful and blessed day.